Would it surprise you to learn that a group of Danish explorers depicted the Giza Plateau with four prominent pyramids instead of three? Described as being a black pyramid in the 1700s by Frederick Norden, who detailed this region extensively during his voyage of Egypt, he also describes as well as draws accurate accounts of monuments, hieroglyphics, and even local people during his time here. Everything checks out except one thing, the fourth great pyramid of Giza. Wait till you hear this. This explorer was a very reliable source of information for this time period. The length he had to go to confirm and describe to the Danish people of the wonders of Egypt are staggering. He had no reason to lie about another great pyramid. So what happened to it and why is it gone? Perhaps it was stripped for the unique masonry that created this gigantic wonder. It is a mystery, you know. And looking at recent images from the European Space Agency, it is hard to imagine there ever was another pyramid here, yet there is a very reliable source suggesting there was. Egypt has fascinated us for thousands of years. The enormity of the undertakings are literally unthinkable today, so why wouldn't this turn out to be true? The pyramid mysteries are unique. They are the talk of much debate today as to what exactly they were, who built them, and why. They have been right in front of us throughout the ages and even into modern times, and we still don't have a logical answer. So when it gets suggested there was a fourth black pyramid made by stone more dense and less common than solid granite, it really should not surprise us that it ever existed. We should be more concerned with where it went there is very little trace, if any, today. But in notes and drawings, Frederick Norton describes the fourth great pyramid within these notes. It reads, The principal pyramids are at the east, southeast of Giza. There are four of them that deserve the greatest attention of the curious. For though we see eight others in the neighborhood surrounding Giza, they are nothing in comparison to the former, the two most northerly pyramids are the greatest and have 500 feet perpendicular height. The two others are much less, but have some particularities which occasion their being examined and admired. It is without coating, closed, and resembles the others, but without any temple like the first. It has, however, one particular deserving remark, which is, that its summit is terminated by a single great stone, which seems to have served as a pedestal. The fourth pyramid has been made, upwards above the middle, of a stone more black than the common granite, and at least as hard. Its summit is of a yellowish stone. I shall speak elsewhere of its top, which terminates in a cube. It is, moreover, situated out of the line of the others, being more to the west, it makes a series with the three others. Today, experts have still not found solid evidence of a major black pyramid at the Giza Plateau, but that doesn't mean it wasn't there. There are some authors who suggest that this lost pyramid was in fact destroyed in the late 18th century and the pyramid's stones were utilized in the construction of the city of Cairo. So in itself, Cairo may have been built by the Lost Pyramid. We know for a fact that there are numerous structures that still remain hidden beneath the ground. Perhaps the remains of this majestic pyramid are also located hidden underground, waiting for the day someone lucky enough will stumble across its glorious foundation, revealing to the world that Egypt is still filled with mystery and that we are on a long journey to discover the real history of Egypt. This seems to be common practice in Egypt these days who seem to hide history based on the notion it is not in line with what the world has believed of this region. In particularly, if they cannot squeeze the historical elements into the dynastic period of Egypt, then they destroy, bury, and even deny the existence of major feats of engineering brilliance that not only predates the dynastic Egyptians, it also predates the Great Flood and takes history back to the true timeline of our civilization when human beings literally walked among the gods. The Golden Period 
a period so grand in design and achievement that it is not so easily swept under the sand. The evidence is certainly there for the fourth pyramid of the Giza Plateau. Who built it and why remains the greatest enigma in the history of our civilization regarding lost history and forgotten civilizations. What do you guys think of the evidence for a fourth pyramid, the Black Pyramid? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.